Hi, Simon. Hey, Chris. How are you? <laughs> My lovely Simon and oh. I are cohorts in art. <laughs> art. Art. <laughs> So I thought we would just do a kind of update that I'm going to put onto my YouTube station. This would not be part of the chick chats because you are not a chick. Not yet, no. Not yet. <laughs> um, but I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of update people on our do on the, our documentary and what's happening. And where's your sign? Oh well, this is very important, of course, and <laughs> always. <laughs> Not knowing, I I never really ever know anything, but you know, Simon, who knows nothing, I know nothing, I know nothing. Anyway, quick, uh, just a quick background. Um, Simon and I don't actually know each other, <laughs> we've never met, no. <laughs> and, and no, we do actually. He came up to me at a Beetle Fest two years ago at the end of the Beetle Fest and asked me for my email, which I thought that was pretty nice of him. <laughs> I thought, oh, and yeah. and then um, he and, and our friend Doug Schwab then approached me about doing this documentary, which surprised me because I couldn't figure out what we would do it about. But I have to say today, Simon sent me, what is it, the, the, uh, the latest cut and yes. i haven't seen it yet 1377 <laughs> exactly and the latest edit and we, and i'm really excited to see it i think it's pretty exciting we showed it at the beetle fest in um new york last month and the reaction was really good did anyone come up and say this is a load of crap or anything uh i've dealt with them don't worry <laughs> <laughs> there's somewhere in the dumpster around the back <laughs> no, 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 nothing. It yeah. was really good. I mean, uh, I mean, just just to kind of sort of em embroider on what you've just said. Um, uh, I've been working with Doug Schwab from Liverpool West Productions for a little while, and it was it was really Doug's idea. He was a big fan and had read the book and sort of felt that it would translate in some way into a feature documentary, and asked me whether I would come and approach you obviously that day and um so it's really it's really been from the nucleus of what doug sort of envisaged really well thank goodness for that Absolutely. i think what he told me is that when he saw me speaking uh that one day at the beetle fest the first question was was it really all about sex drugs and rock and roll and i kind of took a minute and then i went yeah <laughs> and he liked that yeah. welcome to the film <laughs> Well, uh, it was. Mm -hmm. So, but, uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. No, I, I think, you know, it's one of these things where I think, you know, we, you and I met and we had a sort of instant connection, didn't we, really? We yes. just kind of get along really well. And um, I'm not the best reader in the world. I have, I, I do actually have a reading problem. So from getting the book to kind of getting through it was uh but it's a really good read and it's a really well written book it's beautifully written um but i think from the outset the 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 plan of action was to was to take the sort of spirit of the book but but really kind of do something that was um encompassing of 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 your whole career and your life and and i think it's just it's it's a really nice balance isn't it that we've managed to achieve on it I, I think it's really, I mean, it's hard to be completely objective, but um, actually, I'm really proud of it. I'm I'm very proud of my book. I have to say, thank you, Catherine Ketchum, that she did such a great job as my co-writer. And I can actually, to this day, sit here and go, I think I have a really have a good book that someone can write. And I'm feeling exactly the same way about the documentary. So basically, I can die happy. Oh no! Please don't. <laughs> oh please, yes. Well, I mean, please. I'll I die guess. happy, but don't do it right away. <laughs> uh, but um, I think that uh, generally, it's it's just a lovely film, isn't it? It's just something that's really warm, and I think we wanted to create something that was really warm that kind of gave uh, people a, a the spirit of the time as well. One of the things that I'm very conscious of as a filmmaker is that. 
we have a duty of care, not only to our contemporary audience, uh, but to younger audiences as well. And setting the scene and setting the, you know, social, cultural and political scene in these films is really important because we are sort of handing a baton in a way, aren't we, to a younger generation. Uh, and particularly, I think, in this film, a, a female younger generation that kind of hopefully will be and feel inspired, as I'm sure we all do, by what you managed to do in your life, which was just extraordinary, really. I don't know what that bleep was. But there you go. I, I'm sorry that <laughs> came through. I don't know how to make those beeps not happen. <laughs> I, I mean, this is somebody asked me, I think it was Patty asked me when we did our interview the other day, well, when will this come out? And I said, oh, in about an hour. <laughs> and she said, don't you edit it? And I said, I don't know how. We just do what we do. <laughs> this is just what it, it is. So my little beeps go with it. Um, uh, tell us a little about you, what you did before this. Well, I mean, I, I've got a very strange background, I, you know, going right. I mean, you know, I won't go back to the Stone Age and dinosaurs. But after that, um, I mean, I started life as a football player. I was a soccer player, as as you guys call it over there. And um, unfortunately, I was involved in an accident. I couldn't go on anymore. Um, my mum was a really good artist and had worked in college under Peter Blake, um, you know, for those who who don't know, who did who designed the Sergeant Pepper cover and, and and many other things in life, but Beetle related to the Sergeant Pepper cover, and um, I I fortunately inherited two percent of her um, talent in art, um, and that sort of blagged me into film and and photography school, and um, I was I was without being a really good musician, I was a terrible bass player. Uh, but I loved kind of music video. I loved the medium of telling story in a few minutes. So I got into music videos and I was um, lucky enough on occasion to work under a, a very, very good director called Anton Corbin on several things, including Depeche Mode and Duran Duran uh, and, other, and other things, other things, um, just generally through that sort of scope and then started to direct my own videos through that and then sort of migrated into television so i uh worked with a, a really really good director producer called uh, mark westcott uh, we started a company doing music videos for uh young people trying to get into the industry and sort of migrated ourselves into tv production did some things in tv production which were, was lovely we were very young at the time so we made some good things and we made some mistakes, I guess. But, uh, you know, Mark's an incredible uh, character and an incredibly brilliant sort of producer and has gone on to be an award winning director and all sorts of things. Done far better than I have, but he's he's a brilliant talent. and I'm very grateful to have worked with him. So I went on to work with um, a, a chap called David Simon, who was my boss at Disney worked on uh, support things for the Lion King, Hunchback of Notre Dame, worked on children's programs, preschool children programs. I can count to 10. I know what colours everything is. I, can, I know what shape windows all the stories are through. Um, and then just really got into different areas of TV and then kind of got bored with it, to be honest. And then I ended up uh working on books so i worked with a very talented um illustrator and writer called paul skellett and we developed some books and i sort of ended up going to uh beatles festivals with the first book that we did which was about um uh help uh, the making of help um and uh, i w i was really blown away by how um in, you know sort of welcoming the the, the beatles fan base was and the fan family was we were pretty worried because we had come from nowhere that we would we we wouldn't be accepted in but we were immediately accepted in and it made a huge impression on me chris because i don't have i i've got a tiny family which is ever dwindling you know and um really just have my mom left and um my girlfriend and 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 that's really my family you know there's a few others still in my family which i'm very grateful for but the Beatles, that fan family became my family. So um, having done a number of books with Paul, uh, 
Paul wanted to go on and do other artistic things. So we kind of had a natural break in our relationship. But, you know, we're still really good friends. And um, I sort of <laughs> put a flag in the ground and thought I would make a film about Beatles fandom and uh, that it would be a short and it would just take a couple of years to do. And, you know, we're just hopefully about to deliver this at some point in this year. Um, so that will finally come out this year. And then, of course, I've been lucky enough to meet you and, uh, um, you know, had this wonderful um, experience of working with you um, uh, on on this film, which, you know, for people that don't know Chris, you know, she is just the most amazing person. Not only has she done incredible things with her life um, and things that she's done completely spontaneously and amazingly that I'm sure 99.9% .9 of the rest of us wouldn't have even attempted or thought of attempting but she's pulled it off and um, what was so impressive during the production of um, this film Miss Odell um, is that you know Chris uh, is still that sort of really brilliant um, uh, producer and executive producer and tour manager during our filming so, you know, all of these skills were were brought to the fore in this film, you know, and, and it made it just the most fantastic um, experience for, for me, because as a director, it's just wonderful to be working with somebody who's got a just such a brilliant backstory to their life, uh, but is also just a joy to work with, which you are. You are so sweet. Thank you. First of all, thank you for all of that. And 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 I will say that um, we worked with a very small crew. We were, we were not a huge big crew. We were like we were we were a family. We were, we we were really like a little family at that point and just so fortunate to have some of the guys that help, did help with sound and camera and money Stuart. <laughs> oh and driving and if any of you ever get the opportunity to go to England and drive in a car with Stuart, don't. Oh, <laughs> no, no, we're not going to say that. No, I'm not going to say that. That's not true. He's the sweetest man I've met. He's lovely. He's, I mean, he's a godsend to us all. He is for sure. So why don't, I mean, I keep getting asked, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? Can you kind of just give us a little bit? I, I know you can't say exactly because there's so many things involved, but just kind of a little update on that. I'm, I'm, pretty confident and hopeful that we would get this out in the summer now so of this year <laughs> that's important oh, oh, okay that was an important piece right there of this um, year. So, uh, pretty importantly i mean just to explain to everyone you know we are the production company that's been brought in to do this uh and um as i said doug's company liverpool west are the distributors or funders as well they're the film funders and distributors for this so it's very much down to their sort of uh, marketing and remit to get this out to the people they feel are best suited for it, which they will do there. You know, and we've been very lucky, really, because, you know, you can work with funders and distributors who are relatively anonymous um, or have great sort of uh, egos to work with, you know, and we're very fortunate that we've been given, you know, a, a, we've been given a long leash leash with uh with with our friends with uh with the guy there. they they're just great yeah. to work with yeah we're, we're obviously being tracked by spies but um but they're, they're just lovely yeah. you know they've been lovely and and you're right we had a really tiny film crew i've kind of always tried to kind of keep whatever crew i've had really small so chris purcell wonderful photo you know photographer and camera person Paul Data, the the ever um, guru and Dalai Lama sort of calming character, you know um, Stuart, who you know is is just brilliant to to have around, and uh, you know we we were a very compact little tiny team, but you know all the people that we managed to work with, you know Patty, Mark, um, Bob, you know all of these people, um, many others that we work with, you know we had a great time with everyone and you know i think that's what's so nice about this film is that really genuinely comes across that everyone really was very passionate about being involved with the film yeah I, well i think it's gonna i'm excited and i'm anxious for everybody to get to see it and it will be streamed somewhere somewhere yeah. and and i just might point out that i feel really grateful and fortunate because 
I have friends who are getting documentaries made right now, and the biggest problem they have is finding a, the funding and a distributor. And, uh, you know, the gift of having someone come in and say, I will fund this and I'm going to put it somewhere is like, I mean, I don't even, I can't even tell you how much that's worth. It, it absolutely. And we've been incredibly lucky to find Alex, our editor, who oh, yeah. uh, an absolute joy um, and very funny guy, really funny, amusing, hilarious guy. But what's great about him, Chris, as you know, is he's he's 27. You know, he's a kid compared to me. Um, but he comes with incredible ideas and um, incredible patience and passion. So we've been really fortunate to find a very creative um, editor who I think's put a film together again, as we said earlier on, that I think will appeal to a younger audience as well. So the styling of the film is is really unusual, I think, is a really unusually styled film. But it's in keeping with the story and the times that it was told in, really. So, um, you know, Alex has been great for us. Yeah, you guys have done all your editing between London and San Diego. That's yeah. amazing that that can even be done today. That's so amazing to me. But you I know, guess it can. <laughs> five, five, ten years ago, you couldn't have done it. It would have been yeah. very difficult to do it this way. But it's uh, the technology has changed. And the technology that he's been able to use within, you know, the film is is great. And, you know, we've got a really good sound mixer coming on board, Tom, to come on board to to put the sound side of it together at the other end. So, um, yeah, we're very gonna have different. Some good music. We're going to have some good music too. <laughs> also, you know, we've had music from Tom. We've had music from um, all sorts of contributors, people that have found out about the film who've wanted to contribute music to it, you know, which has been original music or cover music. And, uh, and again, you know, we've got a real uh, wealth, of not just the riches of the actual music, but we've got some brilliant um musicians of all different ages you know really young people involved in it as well i don't know if you can hear that as the sirens coming to get me now yeah. oh it's about that time is your time up outside <laughs> <laughs> well listen i'm excited you're excited we'll both be really happy when it's out and um if they don't quit sending me these messages, I don't know. I've got to turn off my notifications. I've never been so you're very You're a very popular lady. So. I'm so popular. So Uber, popular. Uber Eats loves me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you, Simon. Thank you for doing this. And um, we'll be posting it. And anyone who wants to please listen, share, and subscribe. Absolutely. The YouTube channel. Thank you, my dear. I appreciate it. Absolute Thank pleasure. You. And remember that. Yeah, you know nothing. It had nothing to do with you, right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you.